Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to use the send mail task with presidents constraints in SSIS package. Also, we we are going to take a detailed look uh, if this is a good idea or not. So, what we are going to learn here, we are going to learn how to use the, the send mail task with presidents constraint in SSIS package. We are going to take a detailed look on the limitations and our options. Now. Let's go to SSDT and create SSIS package and start using uh, that as a demo. Now I'm in uh, SSDT. If you are using bids, uh, no difference. Uh, you will be creating new SSIS package. So right click here and say new SSIS package. Once uh, the package is created, uh, I could have make it uh, more complicated and use data flow and control uh, other uh, tasks and configure them, uh, but I don't want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and use execute SQL task. And then uh, I already have one connection uh, that I had been using in this project. Uh, so go to new connection uh, and then use that one. Hit OK. Now our connection is ready and uh, execute SQL task is uh, there. So what I want to do in case of uh, success, I want to send a success email. In case of failure, I want to send a failure email for this execute SQL task. There could be multiple scenarios where we can have or maybe in the sequence container, all those tasks are bundled or grouped together. And we are sending an email on completion of that sequence container. So in my case, I just put the one task doesn't mean that it has to be one. You can group them by using sequence container. So let me get a send mail task here. And when uh, this uh, execute SQL task completes successfully, I want to send an email say, okay, my, my execute SQL task completed successfully. First of all, I would like to rename this one and say ex e SQL. You can uh, execute SQL and say testing. So that's what the name I have given to it. Why I'm giving the name to it? Because when we send the email, this name does matter. So first of all, we want to send a success email here. I want to show. I will show you where this naming will really help. So let's uh, go ahead and configure for the success. So go to email. We will be creating a new connection for SMTP, and here we are using TBS client. We are using Windows authentication. Hit OK. Now we have option to use the variables. We have option to use the parameters in the expressions. In this case, let's go ahead and do you let's use uh, the static values. In all of those uh, other packages or demos, I always refer to use uh, those parameters or uh, Par uh, variables because you can change the values of them but here the purpose is different I want to make you make you educate uh, about the limitation of using a send mail task in the control flow so it doesn't really matter so go ahead and put anything what you want so I'm saying Amir SQL age at gmail.com and uh, where we want to send an email we want to send an email to tech brothers SQL age at gmail.com now what should be the we uh, direct in, input is fine message source uh, we are going to say hey my package completed successfully you can always hit here and write it uh, instead of adjusting the one one line hold on my I'm using VPN my internet is really slow I can adjust my say my package completed that's all thank you come on so this is giving me hard time my package is completed with no errors okay that's it I don't want to make it complicated fine and the attachment do I don't have any attachment I will say just uh, uh, package name in this case uh, this is a really stupid name for the package I say package 5 so hit ok I can go ahead and copy this task and uh, make small changes and uh, can reuse so I'm gonna copy this one and then paste it here 
and once I will click here you see the still green arrow here now if you see green is success if uh, this task is completed successfully these two tasks will run but I don't want to do it I want to run this one the second one on error so let me rename so I will say error email hold on this VPN is really slow and making me really crazy so and uh, I'm gonna say success email fine but now if this uh, complete uh, successfully these boats are going to run because this is what we have as a green arrow once you have green arrow that means success so double click on this one and we are going to convert that to the failure so here you see the value for the constraint is success we want to make this one to the failure so once we hit here failure and then you can have a logical and or or if you are using uh, uh, the input uh, coming from multiple uh, tasks uh, so in my case it is straightforward we have only one execute SQL task we are attaching with one uh, send mail task so if you have multiple inputs uh, and you want to use them okay if both get completed successfully then I want to send an email or if any of them get uh, uh, completed or uh, fail that's where I want to use it so you have and where both of them or more than both the has to has complete uh, successfully or a fail successfully so depends whatever the logic you are using and then for the logical or if any of them will complete or uh, give error you can go ahead and send an email so and and or logical or and logical and you can use uh, them here if you are have multiple inputs uh, and you want to control that so in my case I have only one fine now we want to send the email on failure so let me do one thing if I will go ahead and say select only one I am just putting a statement here so select one doesn't really matter so now if this package will run it will send an email on success but here if the package will fail I want to send an email on the failure as well so I will say package failed I'm gonna change the subject I'm not really enjoying making this video because of this VPN and it's giving me a lot of trouble and I don't have set up SMTP server on my machine so I have to VPN uh, and say success okay now we are good if we run this one one of them should run and if it is completed successfully we should use the email success task um, and if it fail then we have uh, the error email send mail task now you can see that success email send mail task completed successfully we can go ahead and take a look in the email so we go to the sorry we go to the more labels and here in the spam uh, they are coming in the spam so we are saying armor sql package 5 success that's fine and now next uh, we can go ahead and mark them as no not spam as well come on fine i don't really need to open you and uh, next uh, we are going to create a problem here stop the package let's create a trouble by using some other query and that I'm going to do by double click on the execute SQL task so if we divide one with zero that's infinite so that's going to create a trouble for us this time error email send mail task should run and uh, start the package and we see that's that uh, okay our execute SQL uh, task failed and uh, it uh, uh, directed us uh, towards uh, error uh, mail that's the send mail task we are using here and that is send an, e an email so stop the package go back here and now we go to the more labels right, we should have a failure message here and you can see that package 5 failed so we have uh, the package uh, 5 failed 
and but uh, there is a s there are some things uh, we need to know in this case we do not know why this uh, executes equal task uh, failed so we should have that information right without the information this is no good we will say okay the executes equal task failed or package failed but why what was the reason if I'm gonna go ahead uh, in the error email and try to find out some information if I go to expressions here in the expressions maybe I can build a body of ma or message source uh, by using some uh, variables or system variables actually and uh, if they will be helpful so I'm going to go to the mass uh, message source uh, go to the expressions uh, and here in the expressions I'm going to take a look in the system variables uh, so I can see different uh, variables are here we have cancel event container time create time create this 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 I'm looking for error ma message such as error description error code and all that but I do not uh, see any information so that's a problem so if I'm using uh, the send mail task in the control flow I do not have a uh, system variables available for me to use that they can give me enough information why the package fail why the task fail so I don't have that so instead of using uh, these uh, President's constraint, maybe it is a good idea. If you are running some uh, data flow task for a long time, it is running, and uh, once it's complete, you want to send an email. Maybe you can go ahead and, okay, instead of failure, we have it here a completion uh, President's constraint, and say, okay, if this data flow task f completes, uh, send an email and say, okay, this. Uh, uh, data flow task completed so we would know that okay this has completed in 30 minutes or 40 minutes uh, but in case of failures uh, this information is not enough for us we want to have uh, more information so where we can uh, perform that operation instead of using uh, the presence constraints here maybe we can cut this part now we are not using uh, the on error here in the control flow we want to go to the event handlers and here I'm going to say on executables let's say if this execut uh, executable I have a, a SQL testing if this fails and on error what I want to do I select the on error then on error I want to paste my send mail task here let me make it a little bit big so you can see double click now let's go to the expressions and try to build the body or the message source so if I'm here and go to the message sources so I'm gonna go to message source here and uh, in the expressions uh, I can see that uh, some variables can be very helpful so if we go to the system variables uh, here we see error code error description and uh, let me see what else we have maybe source uh, task source uh, we have source description we have source ID and source name so this will give us the source name or whatever the task failed and this uh, error message uh, error code and error description will give us more information about the error so let's go ahead and use this one remember these uh, system variables are not available in the control flow so maybe just static messages if you want to just pop or send those messages uh, okay with static values okay my task completed or task failed uh, fine you can use that but uh, in case of uh, failure you want to send more information uh, here we can say this uh, let's say source name that's a task name and we can call this one uh, and say plus sign failed with uh, and here we can put uh, error code or description I'm gonna use this the description here you can use the error code as well I have another video where I showed how to use error code and error description with this uh, error so fine you will get that information in the email so hit ok what I'm trying to tell here instead of using uh, the send mail task uh, in the control flow use that uh, send mail task in the event uh, handler because uh, you have more information available to you and that will be more clean way to do it uh, instead of you will uh, have a lot of uh, uh, send mail task attached to each of the task or uh, to the sequence containers uh, 
uh, why not use the event handler and handle all those errors and have them here on on the each of the executable maybe you can have on each of the execute executable or maybe on the package level so it's your choice so you can create on package level you can go ahead and have them on the uh, each of the executable or task level as well fine so we are good now if we run this package now we should uh, get an email with the error but uh, this time it should send us uh, more detail so it is failing that's fine go to event handler email is send check the email so let's check the email package failed and here you can see that es ec call testing that's why i have changed the name of the task but changing the name you will see that name in the email you will see that name as a source uh, name if you will have execute one execute sql task one execute sql task two and three and four you will never know what exactly that was doing right so give a proper name to your task and that names is helpful in the process of a debugging so we have ec call testing that's a task name and failed with the, this uh, error so you can see that it is dividing one divided by zero failed with the, divided by zero is the error encounter possible failure problem with the uh, results and all those kind of things so you can see what exactly happened so i encourage you you can have you have the option to use the send mail task with the on error on completion on success in the control flow but i will encourage especially in cases of uh, failures uh, use uh, this uh, send mail task in the event handler because you have uh, variables available such as uh, source name error code error descriptions uh, and you can use them and they will give you more detail in the emails uh, what happened with your package and why it failed so thanks very much for watching this video one more time and uh, uh, stay tuned I'm going to make more videos on send mail task and very complex uh, uh, in the next video I'm going to make is uh, how to send uh, or attach uh, the the text file uh, which has suspended records or redirected uh, records uh, from one of the data flow and uh, that's really helpful when we need to redirect the rows uh, from a data flow task and then uh, at the end we want to attach that file to the uh, to the email and send to the business users and tell them hey you know what you have sent a file uh, with 100 records or 1000 record and uh, they this this file completed uh, but uh, five of the records were uh, suspended or rejected and these are the five records you need to take a look in that maybe truncation happen or maybe the the data is not able to convert to the required data types so once again thank you very much and i will see you in next video